It's our hour about money, 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 right now. When we come back, a woman who's dated one of the most powerful men in the world, but you'll never believe what she says about men with money. Don't go anywhere. Up next. I just happened to meet someone rich and powerful. I wasn't out looking for it. But she says, don't get stuck on your sugar daddy. You can get money on your own instead of relying on a talking about the power of money. Two women here who are looking for guys with money. My next guest has something to say about all this. She's been with one of the richest and most powerful men in the world. She's one of Hugh Hefner's bevy of beauties. Please welcome Stacey Burke. Okay, Stacey. So you dated, date, dated, one of the group dated, one of the richest and most powerful men in the world. Is money a turn on for you? Actually, no, money is not a turn on for me. It's actually a turn off. Um, I just happened to meet someone rich and powerful. I wasn't out looking for it. Actually, money intimidates me because um, money, generally speaking, I don't want to say all because have is one of the is the exception to the rule but generally speaking men with money are usually arrogant they're usually selfish they want they're interested in their own interest uh, they're after trophy girls so after you know the pretty ones and young and then they'll dump you for but, someone but younger not to, and prettier. not to not to diss you Hefner but it would seem from the outside that he's kind of after trophy girls too I mean he has like mm. seven beautiful girlfriends at a time it seems like that to the outside world because that's what you see him with, but that's what he sees. Those are the people that come to him. Those are the girls because he owns Playboy. Those are the girls he's surrounded by. And, and there's some pretty girls that go to Playboy, but not everyone's invited to be in the mansion because it takes more than looks, even though it sounds like it's not true. Right. It does take more right. than looks. So you're saying money isn't the deciding factor there. And, and if, if that's true, I mean, it, it's hard to almost believe in some ways because, like, why would you stay in this? Because you're sharing with other women. It's yeah. like you don't even get the guy. Like, it's a pretty glamorous lifestyle. But let's say, yeah. let's say that's true. So what would you say to Rebecca, who is sitting here, a single mom, and wants those nice things? Well, I understand it because I, I have been there and I've had the nice things. And, and yes, it's nice, but without the love, I mean... I'm, maybe I'm just a hopeless romantic, mm -hmm. but I think you could have the best of both worlds. I really think you could have love, and if you really want the money, there's ways to do it. You can get money on your own instead of relying on a guy. It can happen. And even if you can't, you can live within your means. Love is number one, because that's what you take to the grave, is your experience. Um, what do you say? What do you say to that? I mean, I don't know that we can... I don't know in this case because you're cheating on your husband that's a whole separate issue but in your case you can make a fresh commitment to whoever you want that's correct Rob but everybody here is still not getting it not getting the point here I have done everything in my power that I know that I have done and like I said the reality is every day I have to go to work if I don't care if I'm gonna get paid I gotta go to work but don't we I all? Have to go to, <laughs> yes don't we all doesn't everybody have then to go again to work? if I miss one day of work I'm I'm done. My whole budget is screwed up, and it's tough out there. You guys don't understand that raising a child. Okay. I have a question for Rebecca. She has a 15-year-old daughter. What message are you sending to her? How does she feel about what you're doing? And you just wanting a rich man? What would you would you My condone her doing? My daughter is very open-minded. She knows what it's like to not have, and I think she's uh, considering with me that go for it. What, what do you teach your daughter? What do you teach your daughter about men? Should she look for money? Respect. <laughs> what was your respect? Is that respect. a code word for money? Um, 
Yes? No? Code word for cash? At some level, is she just being the honest one? Are all women at some level kind of turned on by a guy with cash? And, and it's just not fun to admit it. No. Absolutely not. Um, I think that you can't judge a book by its cover, but I think maybe she's feeling a little bit sorry for herself because she has to go to work every day. And that's okay because I caught myself in that too. But God, we have to work for what we want, girl. Come on, we stop respect. Has anybody, has anybody ever considered the fact that money could be gone like that exactly. tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. it, is, it is an intangible thing that can be gone in a second. Stacey, let me ask you something. It's like the reverse in a way. I, I think guys often feel that women come after them for money. And that might seem a little like a guy coming after you just for the way you look. Exactly. I mean, I can understand it. I mean, uh, it's, to me, it's like love isn't more important. I know it must be hard, you know, but money intimidates me. And it's, that's just my own problem. And I know not all guys are arrogant and, you know, that have money and, and have all these things. Because Hef is the exception. When I first met Hef, I was shy and I was intimidated until I actually got to know him. And he, there's more to it than just his money. He's, if his money was gone tomorrow, I'd be there with him 100%. And I'm not the only one. There's a lot of his friends and family. Oh, that's so hard to believe. I mean, I'm not in I your know, shoes, it but is. I know. A, you know, because you, money does disappear in a heartbeat. Let me get one more person over here. Yeah, stand up. Yeah, I want to know if Barbie finds a bus ride romantic. Oh, God, yes. Yeah? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I ride my bike all okay, the time. Okay, Stacy, like, you're talking about Stacy. Yeah, you're saying yeah, she'd yeah, want yeah. only be in a limo, not in a bus. Yeah. Oh yeah, I drive a Saturn. I could have got a BMW, but I chose a Saturn. I mean, you that's see, I got, I got, day, no, you want to well, take her on yeah, a bus ride? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is for Stacy. Stacy, you should just take the money and run and find a young man to stop dating Grandpa. Seriously, I really believe that. All right, all right, you guys, you'll still be here throughout the show. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it's time for a Nelson test. This time, it's for our guests. We're going to put them on the hot seat, see if they can tell which one of these four guys is the real millionaire. But as we go to break, here's today's Did You Know. All right, welcome back. We are talking about money and how important it is in the pursuit of love. Now, I've got some women here who only want to date wealthy men. And my question is, how can you tell? So we're going to put you guys to the Nelson test. And, uh, we got four contestants here. And you, uh, Andrea and Rebecca, you guys are going to use your, uh, I don't know, whatever powers it is to see if you can tell who's the real millionaire. Um, Stacey, I'm going to leave you out of it because you say you're, you're not on the... I have no clue. Right. Pay less and what's the... Guy shoe, another one, bollocks okay. or whatever. Okay. Same to me. All right, you, you can watch. You can be a, a, a third extra judge. Um, Andrew, let me ask you, um, what, what do you look for? Just out of curiosity, what does tell if a guy's wealthy? Um, they, they tend to have a, a nicer appearance as far as uh, they're very well groomed. They're clean shaven or nice trimmed beard, always have, have a current haircut, clean fingernails especially. Uh. <laughs> oh, so I guess I'm not a wealthy guy. <laughs> okay. All right, Rebecca. Okay. Um, the way that the man carries himself, uh, his vocabulary, his shoes. Shoes. <laughs> okay. All right. Look. I always look at the shoes, shoes first. <laughs> okay, great. Well, we're, I'm looking at shoes now. I don't look at shoes enough. Um, we're going to start with, uh, with contestant number one. You guys want to, you can walk over to him, you know, touch the merchandise, say hello. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, my, my name is Irvine. I'm from Ireland. I'm a really good guy. Um, I'm in international uh, project financing. Uh, I've lived in California for three years, and uh, I came here originally to look for a, a nice uh, girl, a nice lady. Um, I'm looking for someone that's beautiful, but it's very important to me that that beauty starts from the inside and works its way to the outside and not the other way. Okay. Do you guys want to take, can you see enough from here? You want to take a closer inspection or? Okay, walk over. Go ahead. Check, check out what you want. The fingernails. Your fingernails. Your fingernails. The shoe test. 
<laughs> okay. Do I pass the litmus test? <laughs> okay. All right, number two, stand up, tell us about yourself. Yeah, hi, my name is Larry, and uh, I, I'm an old-fashioned, traditional kind of man, and I'm looking for a woman who's understands the role of being a woman, where I'm a man, I'd like her to be feminine, traditional, natural, honest, and that's, that's about it. That also, I, I think it's important that she recognizes that what's really most important in, in life in a relationship is the relationship, and that the money and the things don't really have anything to do. That's a game, and that the relationship and having somebody there is what, what's most important. Okay. Through the thick and thin. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys want to, you want to check them out again? Does, do you need to? You want to go closer for a closer look? You can see from there what the <laughs> shoes are. You going to go look? The shoes are bad or something? Yeah. What? The fingernails? The belt? No. My God, it's scary. <laughs> oh, look at these hands. You're done. <laughs> these hands. <laughs> that is mine. God, it can't really be in the hands, can it? <laughs> okay. Contestant number three. Hi, my name is Bobby. I uh, was born and raised in Southern California. I'm a technology consultant. And I want and I'm looking for a woman who will be the hot to my cold, the up to my down, the yin to my yang. Someone who knows everything about me and most importantly, loves me anyway. All right. You, you need to uh, inspect closer or are you you're good? Touch me, smell me, feel me. You're good? He's got nice shoes, doesn't he? Okay, uh, contestant number four. Hi, my name is Josh. I'm 33. I'm a Taurus. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I am. I am. Uh, in a relationship, I'm looking for honesty, intimacy, and confidence. And beauty starts, like you said, from the inside out. Okay. <laughs> the fingernail check. It's got very nice fingernails, doesn't it? Very clean. Um, have you, you you seen enough? Yeah, you can sit down. Unless they, the women want to come inspect you like a package. Yeah. A financial package. Did you check the teeth? Um, Rebecca? I want you to, to, to pick one, two, three, or four if you think he's the, the real millionaire. Who is the real millionaire? Who is the real millionaire? You guys at home? You guessing? Are you guessing? Come on, get your votes out now. Family vote time. <laughs> yeah? Who are you going to give me? Um, number two. You're going with number two? Mm -hmm. All right. Number two, you want to make a guess? I'm thinking number three. Number three? Um, Stacy, you want to just throw, it in, throw one in? Um... Number one. Number one. I'm voting with number... I'm throwing my vote in. I'm going with number three, too. I don't know. I think the shoe thing got me. All right. All right. All right. I'm excited. Will the real millionaire please stand up? We're going to have you tell us a little about yourself. But I think the most important thing I want everyone out there to notice is the fingernails. The fingernail <laughs> test does not work, see? <laughs> fingernails and the shoes, I don't know. See, you guys, these are bad tests because this guy is the real millionaire. So, why didn't you, you guess him? Yes, I could tell by his personality. You he's, could. Looking, he's looking for somebody with natural beauty, someone who has uh, some even thing though in the, the heart. shoes didn't work right you still knew i know how often do you come across women who are looking for just for money it depends on where you hang out but <laughs> la has a lot of girls that are just they come up to you and basically how much money did you say your name was <laughs> oh whoa and it doesn't bother you it's just what it is i mean it bothers me yeah but this is where i live and i have to i was born in la actually i'm a native and so I'm used to it, and I, it depends where you want to hang out. Right. And, and have you found when you're, when you're with women that you have a better relationship with them if they haven't been interested in your money or if they had no idea you had money when they met you? I, I have a different view on this. I, I think, I mean, I have certain criteria that I want a woman to meet. I want her to look a certain way and have, act a certain way and feel a certain way. And So your version of their wanting money. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's okay. I mean, as long as once I find her... I don't keep looking for a bigger, better girl. Right. When she finds me, if she doesn't keep looking for a bigger, better guy, then it's okay. All right, you guys. It's fascinating. I'm a little troubled. They want money. You want <laughs> looks and, and 
Honesty. The way they behave. And honesty. And honesty is a good thing. When we come back, we're going to shift gears from, from love for money to people who do outrageous things because they love money and they want to get paid a lot. It's all on tape. It's coming up next. Don't go anywhere.